Okay, here we have some more historical history stamps. They all have a meaning. They're very important to our history. So if you're doing a history uh, article and stuff at school and you need to make a report and everything, you might want to use some of these stamps. They'll be all posted on Penetris individually. So if there's one in particular that you like, that you want to do a story about, you go right there and you get it. Okay, this first one here is the Alamo. The second one here is the French Alliance. U.S. Bicentennial. Then right here we have Chief Joseph. Okay, then Republic Very different looking, isn't it? All the colors. Very pretty. Okay. And then we have Harriet Truman. This is part of the Black Heritage. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Then right here we have the uh, 1757 to 1957 Lafayette, three cent stamp. Okay, then we go down to this one here, the Arctic Explorations, 1909. It's a 1959 stamp. Okay. Then we have Robert Fruton, 1765 to 1965. Okay. Then we have 1758 to 1958 for Duquesne. Quite the stamp, isn't it? Has an awful lot to view. It's not just put a postage stamp on your letter and mail it out. They used to pay a lot of attention to details and um, designs of them back then. Oh, this one's beauty. This one's really nice. 1535 to 1935. California Pacific International Exposition. Okay. And then we have historic preservation stamp. Then we have law and order stamp. Kind of cute, huh? A little boy with a police officer. It's a nice picture. Okay. Then we have Hispanic American, a proud heritage stamp. Bicentennial Executive Branch stamp.
then we have 1976 Olympic stamp then we have the four cent is at 1859 to 1959 petroleum industry stamp Well, that's historical. Look at that stamp. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now this one's kind of unique in its own way because this is to cast a free ballot stamp. Just a ballot box. How things used to be in the old days. Some of us in the country here, like I like I am and stuff, it's still put in a box and everything. Cast your ballot, put it in a box. It's not all this electronic stuff yet, not for us. We're still very rural area. Okay, then we have this one here, Champion of Liberty, four cent stamp. This one here, this is nice. The 150th anniversary of the fine arts. What a stamp, huh? Da da da. Okay. And then we have the Great Northwest 1820. For snailing to 1970. Rather nice picture, isn't it? Okay, now this one here is Mary Cassatt, American artist. This is her stamp. And then last we have a NATO stamp for peace, strength, and freedom. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Some very historical stamps that, of course, will work out really good in history lessons and give you an idea of some of the past and some of the beautiful, beautiful designs and stamps and how people cared about things in the old days. Really nice stamps. All right. Bye-bye.